Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have the finals of a Dragon Riders Games tournament. The winner of this will be winning $17. Also, you can go check out Dragon Riders Games Facebook page, link down below at the very top of the description. And then we're gonna see 31 er versus Ichiban. And we will go ahead and we're gonna see Itch win the rock, paper, scissors shoe, and they'll go ahead and go first. 40 versus 44, opening hands. We have Tracker, Wright, Fusion Destiny, Droplet, and Draco back. They have Kieran, Droplet, Droll, Lulu City. You know, Lulu City, that's kind of crazy. Um, so they're going to go ahead, activate the city, and then bring out the Chuchi from the deck. And then activate Lulu effect, target Chuchi, go ahead and dump Chinglong, summon out, go grab GG. And then they're going to activate Kieran effect. So Kieran's going to target the monster, and then go dump Chuchi, and dump Chinglong, summon that out. Uh, Chuchi effect up the level, then they're gonna get rid of those. Okay, so go for Zulkin. See, it's not like there's like a a standard virtual world combo right now because there's so many different combos that we've seen people go for. We've even seen people cut the Zulkin from the extra deck. Uh, they're gonna go for Crystal Wing, Chinglong, Banish, Go Search, Discard. So search out Roshi. And then discard, they're thinking on the discard, uh, they're going to discard draw, Roshi effect, target trap, go dump, special summon out Roshi, and then special summon back out from graveyard, it's going to summon out Kieran, and then the knee ends there for the GG now. Uh, GG, uh, dump Sean Wu, special summon, and then knee ends, summon itself back out. Uh, get rid of those, go for charge warrior, charge warrior, knee ends, so put back draw. Uh, draw Lulu, put back Chinglong, overlay for M7, M7 effect, attach, add back Droll. They do have Sean Wu that could allow them to go for the Shen Shen here. Discard Lulu, turn those into Shen Shen, end phase, GG add back. So they have Lulu for follow up, you know, Shen Shen for follow up, Chinglong for follow up. But they have Droll, Chuchi, Droplet, Crystal Wing, Shen Shen. They have a lot of follow up here too. Uh, draw Torn Scales. They're gonna activate right. This goes through. Um, bring out the token. They do know both of the cards in hand at least. Then bring out fateful. Uh, fateful effect to go search. Just gonna grab the temple. Discard Draco back. Uh, Draco back effect. Um, they're gonna drop droll here, and they're gonna let this go. So they're not gonna try to do anything there uh, Draco back effect to try to bounce Shen 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 Shuchi to out the token and then normal summon special summon overlay go for break sword uh, battle phase attack and then main phase 2 go for downward go for Zeus Zeus effect and then in response you're gonna chain crystal wing and then chain droplet to try to negate that. And then they're gonna chain droplet, get rid of Lulu to negate. Um, they're gonna negate Crystal Wing and then negate Zeus, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> um, imagine if you could droplet your own cards, you could just use the discard a card. Yeah, I mean, that'd, that'd be, you know, something. <laughs> An interaction that for sure could come up if it worked like that. Um, Enforcer effect to pop. Uh, they're gonna pop Crystal Wing. And then pass, draw GG, draw phase, Enforcer effect to pop. They let this go through. So Enforcer will be popping itself in Shen Shen. Um, they forgot to use Enforcer Graveyard effect. They're going to chain Zeus here, though. Um, that's actually big. You know, this isn't just like a testing match. This is a tournament. So, like, the opponent calls him out on it. Enforcer's not coming back. And a judge would rule that. Ching Long, banish, go search and discard. Uh, go grab Nian, discard Nian. And then normal summon out, GG, Nian bring itself out. Okay, so they do have a few options here. They have a rank three they could go into, a synchro six, a synchro nine. They go for fortune tune, battle phase, attack, and then main phase two. They don't play downard, so they go for Zeus. Uh, pass row drunk for, you know, it sucks that they don't have the downard on this because that means it's one interruption instead of two. Uh, draw phase, they're not going to dash your summon out on um, Phoenix Enforcer. They don't even need to summon this out because you just activate the Phoenix Enforcer, you go... You, well, they, yeah, I mean, to be fair, this should be coming out. 
It didn't activate it. I mean, hey, they're lucky. They're lucky this is, they're letting them do this. They didn't have to let them do that. Um, you just go main phase, Phoenix Enforcer effect, they chain Zeus to wipe, and then you special summon out Junk Forward, uh, activate the Temple effect, banish, go search outright, and then just set, uh, Celestial draw, they have a lot of draws here. Um, they draw Griffin Boots, yeah that works, Normal Summon, get rid of those, go for Cherubini, Cherubini effect to go dump, and then Cherubini will go ahead and dump the Ancient Cloak, Boots, go search out Shade, and then Torn Skills, summon itself out, and then they're going to set Shade, activate Shade, and then turn those into Rusty, Rusty effect, set Fog Blade, dump the Raggy Gloves, and then Ancient Cloak, go search Boots, Special Summon Out Boots, overlay those, go for Break Sword, Rusty effect, pop Zeus, activate right, special summon out the token in attack position, and that's game, so... Moving on into game two now, we're going to go ahead and we are going to see Virtual World go first. Opening hands, we have Lightning Storm, e -Telly, Shade, Wielder, Dark Ruler. Dark Ruler, Lightning Storm, pretty strong. Um, They have Talons, Roshi, Lulu, Talons. Hey, they're playing the punks. I uh, I don't think these cards are getting enough credit for what they do. Um, I've been seeing them a lot on the channel, and I've been seeing a lot more replays than like, just what I've been posting on the channel. I think these cards are actually pretty good. And then also I was watching uh, a Tommy Rowie video last night and he was talking about the punk cards. I think a lot of what he was saying made sense. So, yeah, I, I mean, I, I, I've been testing with these cards, you know, no biggie. Trying out some cool combos with them, but I got to make good combos with them, not just cool combos. <laughs> uh, so they're going to go ahead, normal summon effect, pay 600, go search. And then this will go ahead and search out the Foxy Tune, uh, Foxy Tune effect, get rid of itself plus a talent. So I'm assuming, yeah, go ahead. They're gonna summon out Spider. So Spider can go search the trap, uh, pay six, go grab the trap, which is just an imperm. Then turn those into Needle Fiber, uh, Needle Fiber effect. Go summon out from the deck. It's gonna summon out the Double O One. So. Yeah, this looked like a completely regular Virtual World deck game one. I guess they just didn't see any of these cards. Uh, go ahead, go for Mecha Phantom Beast, Effect, Tokens, 001. Then they can go for like Cupid Pitch stuff. Cupid Pitch is so good in this deck. Um, yeah, just like search Lulu is crazy. Like search, search multiple things is crazy. You can also search these off of Cupid Pitch too. Um, yeah, I don't think they're going to search Lulu, though. They already have it. Uh, Mechum Phantom Beast, Tribute. Go for Colt Wing. Okay, Colt Wing, bring out tokens. Um, they don't have enough space for the 001, but they're going to go for Juju, Cupid Pitch Effect. That's going to go grab Kieran. Yeah, there's no point in grabbing Lulu when you already have Lulu. Unless you have, like, a sinister plan for it. Dump Chinglong Summoning, go grab Chuchi. And then get rid of those, go for Coral Dragon, Roshi Effect. So Roshi will dump Special Summon, Special Summon back out from the graveyard. And then get rid of those for Zulk and Coral Dragon draw one. Uh, Coral Dragon draws into an e Telly, Set Chuchi, Zulkin, Special out the Crystal Wing. Get rid of those, go for Mud Dragon. Activate e Telly that brings out the Amon. Uh, then turn those into Hot Red. Hot Red does play around Dark Ruler, because Dark Ruler Chain Link 1, Flip Chuchi Chain Link 2, Hot Red Chain Link 3 to negate. Turn those into a Fleur. Um, then they're going to activate Chinglong, Banish, Search, Discard. Uh, so that I messed up, you can take it back, it's like 5 blades ago. I should have sent the other trap, uh, like the Sean Wu. Yeah, they could have also ended with at least Shen Shen on top of this. Um, unless if they play the, um, the Scythe, then they could also set up Scythe if they played that. But they're going to grab Lulu, discard, um, it's fine, my bad. I'm used to making Dragoon with this line, so still figuring out the hot red lines. Pretty good. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> not bad. Pretty good, especially when they could have also went for Scythe on top of this if they really wanted to. Um, pass, draw e because, like, 
don't jump Chuchi, dump Sean Wu, um, Sean Wu special summon back out, a body, um, like Lulu, Kieran target, dump Chuchi, Chuchi, boost the level, they actually messed up here, um, actually, yeah, that was actually a pretty bad mistake now that I think about it, because they definitely needed to dump the Sean Wu, yeah, that gives you Beatrice, Beatrice can send the artifact Scythe, um, that also puts the second virtual world banished. So that way Chuchi actually pops something. Um, thankfully here for them, their mistake is not going to cost them the game, I don't think. Because they can negate that. Lightning Storm, Floor negate that. They still have Crystal Wing in this. Which, they admit defeat? Wait. Let's see, wait a second. They might actually be able to play through this. Because it's only a, a small negate and imperm, low impact. Crystal Wing, high impact. You have multiple e telly. Um, there's probably a way to break through this, right? Um, like, let's be real. Um, but, yeah, they just go ahead and admit defeat. Or at least a way to try and hope your opponent messes up. That That's a for sure thing you can do. But I think you might actually be able to break through that. Uh, they draw Fogger Blade, Shade, Wings, Boots, Stain. This is weird. It works. They have Chuchi, Lulu, Droll, Foxy Toon, Lancia. Ooh, they open Lancia plus Droll. Both those cards are good. They don't drop Lancia during the standby phase to play around uh, the Temple, though. Um, they're going to Cherry Beanie, probably because they have Droll. Um, go dump, drop Lancia here. Dropping Lancia after the Cherry Beanie dump, that feels pretty good. Set Shade activated. Get rid of that for a Link Spider. So they're going to be turning those into Anaconda. Anaconda effect, pay 2k, go dump Fusion Destiny, dump the heroes, summon out the Enforcer, and set, and pass. So they have Fog Blade, Enforcer. Um, they draw, who another draw. Their hand sucks. Two Droll, Chuchi, Foxy Tune, Lulu. So they have to uh, Foxy Tune. They said Think and Draw phase, you know, just bluffing that they have the artifact. We've seen literally every Phantom Knight player do this. Um, Foxy Tune effect, get rid of itself, get rid of a Droll, special summon out Amon, um, then they can activate the Amon effect, pay 600, go search, so that will go ahead, search out Spider, normal summon, here they have to do something, otherwise this is Fortune Tune, okay, so they do let this go through, overlay for Fortune Tune, I guess this just doesn't do anything, like Fogblade honestly deals with this, because they don't play Downard. Uh, they should have to, yeah, take more. And then main phase two, Zeus. Um, is enter end phase okay? Thinking end phase, enter the end phase is fine. I think DP dies immediately. No, I choose the order resolving, right? Like Farfa Skarm. Can't choose the order of mine resolving. Yes. Like the pop itself. One ass judges. Not really. It's a $17 match. Okay, well, end phase, they're going to activate Enforcer Effect, and then they're going to chain Zeus. So, like, it, like and end phase Enforcer Effect, try to pop chain Zeus. Like, this is a legal play. Like, this this works. Uh, Fogblade on that. Um, then Enforcer's going to be popping the Zeus. Uh, Fogblade does fall off. Yeah, get the Graveyard Effect. And they just submit the feet. They realize that they lose. Said, so you're fine. I hard bricked. GG's. Ah, GG's. Yeah, pretty sure about this, though. Yep, that works. Um... So we're going to see the Punk Virtual World deck end up losing there. Their combo game, too, was ridiculous. They also opened up pretty good, but it's cool to see the Punk cards. Uh, cool to see Virtual World. I think Virtual World's, like, somewhat being slept on. I think the deck has a lot of very good plays that other decks also have, but the deck also doesn't have to play as many bricks. The problem with Virtual World is that the deck, you know, bricks. Um... So you gotta find a way to like have consistency plus going plus enough going second cards, um, plus ways to push through boards. So I feel like someone's just gotta find out like a better build of the deck. Um, but to be fair, like the format hasn't even dropped yet, so like you know, there's still a lot of time to improve on every single deck list, including like these deck lists. Just every single deck list this format will improve for sure. Um, seeing how long the match was, we can see that it was about 38 minutes long. We're gonna see the Phantom Knight player. Win the $17. Again, make sure to go check out Dragon Riders Games Facebook down below in the description. And the DB Grinders signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.